Lester, obviously, but yeah. I think Lester's more untradeable because of his contract. Right. <laughs> than, un- than untouchable. Yeah, yeah, he's more untradeable. Well, because we know those last two years aren't going to be pretty, but right. hopefully the which Cubs is, are champions before which, that. Which I'm glad that the Cubs realize that, and they're, they don't need to, because then they don't need to hand out another contract like that, because they had to give one of those to Arietta anyways. Yep, you're you're definitely going to need to give Arietta. And, the, and then don't forget that Schwarber, Rizzo, Bryant, Russell, and Soler are all free agents the same off season, and that'll be after the TV deal kicks in. So you should have be spending like so you should have money like Surplus. the Dodgers. Yeah, so it shouldn't be a problem keeping those guys. Is, is that 2021 or 2020? I, I think it's 21. 2021, that's going to be a fun year. (laughs) (laughs) If they haven't won a World Series by then, I actually might start getting a little worried. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, then then, uh, then I'd be a little worried, but... uh, They'll have the new TV money. They'll be able to keep all those guys, like... Uh, Imagine that Cubs TV, just like, Mm -hmm. like, channeled, like, three on on every uh, television in the Chicago Mm -hmm. area. Cubs TV. I, I, I also heard... Uh, there was talk that when this happens, the the Cubs and Blackhawks might partner up because they kind of have ties with John McDonough and whatever. Right. Uh, they kind of have ties, and they might partner up and have their own network. So, you know, it, it might be Cubs and Hawks television because the the Bulls and Sox have the same order, so they're not going to go off and do whatever the Cubs and Hawks do, obviously. So uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen to Comcast Sportsnet necessarily. Uh, that might just be an exclusive White Sox and Bulls channel mm. eventually. You never know. I mean, maybe they'll try to work out a deal where they still get to broadcast some of the games. Yeah, maybe. Like, uh, I'm sure they'll try to be like, hey, can we at least you know get like 15 or 20 of the I, games? I, I know the Cubs are done with Channel 9. We know that. They'll be done with, yeah. with WGN. And I'm sure I'm sure they'll be done with ABC once they get their TV deal. Oh, yeah. Well, the, the ABC thing was just because they're not on WCIU anymore, so they had right. to be on ABC for a couple channels. Yeah, uh, that, that'll be interesting. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, we'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll talk a little bit about the Bulls. Uh, they're they're 11-5, and five, but they sure aren't playing like it. And uh, uh, we'll also talk about the NBA and probably some hockey, too, in general. Is Patrick Kane, what, needs one more goal to tie the Hawks? Uh, one more point to tie the Blackhawks record. He, do, he has yeah. the... NHL record for an American-born player. They're actually playing right now and losing two nothing at the end of the first period. Uh, so, by pro- since they have zero goals, it's safe to assume Patrick Kane doesn't have a point yet. I, I would assume, uh, unless he's playing for Ottawa and we don't know about it. <laughs> all right, we'll, we'll take a break and we'll come back. We'll talk all about that on our final segment. You're listening to the Sports Renegades, SportstownChicago.com. The Sports Renegades podcast on SportstownChicago.com.